Let us solve a numerical problem on corner duopoly. This question was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of Econometus. The question is like this. Corner duopolists face market demand curve as P is equal to 56 minus 2Q. P is the price and Q is the total you know, quantity demanded in this market where Q is the total market demand. Obviously, each firm produces uh, at a marginal cost of $20. That means uh, the cost uh, function of each firm is constant. Okay, so marginal cost is same for both firms. We need to find out the equilibrium price and firm quantity. Equilibrium price in this uh, duopoly market and the equilibrium quantity each firm is producing. Okay, basically we have the corner duopoly model. If we have duopoly model, that means we have two, two firms and when we have the corner type, so that means two firms compete in terms of quantity, okay? So how do we solve this kind of question? Let us take first firm, okay? First, uh, let me write the total demand function, that is P is equal to 56 minus 2Q. This is the total market demand. Since we have two firms here, so this Q this q will be equal to total output in uh, the market will be equal to the output produced by first firm plus output uh, produced by second firm okay so q is equal to q1 plus q2 since we have only two firms so total output produced in the market will be the aggregate of uh, the production um, you know um, by the two firms okay how do we solve then let's take the first firm and we need to find out the reaction function of the first firm. How do we solve the reaction function? So we need to find out the reaction function of firm 1. Okay. Firm 1. What we also call best response. Best response curve. Okay. How can we solve this? By best response, what we mean? We mean best response of firm 1 in terms of the output decided. Uh, by the firm 2. Let's first find out the best response or reaction function of firm 1. Simple case, nothing but was in this. This is our total, uh, you know, market demand. We also know that marginal cost for firm 1 is equal to marginal cost for firm 2, which is constant on $20. Okay. Now to find the reaction function for firm 1, we know uh, profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. So profit for uh, firm 1 will be equal to total revenue for firm 1 minus total cost for firm 1. Okay. Now what is total revenue for firm 1? So price into quantity produced by firm 1 minus total cost is since marginal cost is 20 okay total cost will be 20 times q1 okay because if marginal cost is 20 okay then total cost is simply the integral of marginal cost okay so <clears throat> obviously uh, this is uh, with respect to firm 1 so total cost will be equal to <coughs> for firm 1 will be equal to the integral of this uh, 20 with respect to q1 so we have uh, 20 dq1 it's derivative sorry integral is simple we will get 20 q1 okay 20 sorry <coughs> sorry 20 q1 okay so the, this is how we got the total cost and another way you can find out when we add up the aggregate uh, sorry when you when you add up the marginal cost you get the total cost okay so this is total revenue this is total cost for firm one now profit maximization requires our derivative of profit function with respect to output q1 should be equal to zero okay so first let's rewrite this here so we have p uh, sorry p has uh, p is being given as 56 minus 2 q but q is equal to q1 plus q2 so in place of q i will write q1 plus q2 okay to this we have to multiply q1 minus 20 q1 okay so let us rewrite it now so we have 56 minus 
टू क्यू वन स्क्र टू क्यू वन स्क्र माइनस टू क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू वन ट्वाइस क्यू वन क्यू टू माइनस ट्वेंटी क्यू वन ओके नाउ दिस इज आवर प्रॉफिट फंक्शन प्रॉफिट मैक्सिमाइजेशन रुका योर इज द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ प्रॉफिट फंक्शन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू क्वांटिटी ऑफ फर्म वन शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो टेकिंग डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस प्रॉफिट फंक्शन रुका योर इज विच इम्प्लाइज डेरीवेटिव ऑफ सॉरी दिस क्यू वन इज ऑल्सो मल्टीप्लाई टू दिस ओके सो क्यू वन इज मल्टीप्लाई टू ईच ऑफ दिस टर्म सो डेरीवेटिव ऑफ क्यू वन इज वन सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस डेरीवेटिव ऑफ क्यू वन स्क्र इज टू क्यू वन सो टू टू जार फोर फोर क्यू वन माइनस डेरीवेटिव ऑफ क्यू वन इज वन सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद ऑनली ट्वाइस क्यू टू माइनस डेरीवेटिव ऑफ क्यू वन इज वन सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद एंड वी सेट इट इक्वल टू जीरो ओके दिस गिवज अस ट्रांसपोजिंग दीज टर्म्स हियर सो वी हैव फोर क्यू वन प्लस टू क्यू टू इज इक्वल टू नाउ फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस यू नो ट्वेंटी कम्स आउट टू बी आई गेस इट इज फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी सो फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी कम्स आउट टू बी थर्टी सिक्स ओके सो थर्टी सिक्स सो वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू डिराइव द रिएक्शन फंक्शन फॉर फॉर्म वन we can um, divide both sides by 2 so dividing both sides by 2 so we will get uh, 2 q1 plus q2 is equal to 18 which gives us let us solve it for q1 so we have 2 q1 is equal to 18 minus q2 okay which gives us q1 is equal to transposing this here it will get divided to each of these terms so 18 divided by 2 comes out to be 9 minus 0.2 so this is one half this becomes 0.5 q2 okay this is what we call the reaction function of form 1 by reaction function what we mean reaction function uh, of form 1 is the optimal quantity form 1 should produce given फर्म टू प्रोड्यूसड सॉरी गिवन फर्म सेकंड प्रोड्यूसड क्यू टू यूनिट्स ओके इफ द आउटपुट प्रोड्यूसड बाय फर्म टू चेंजेस द आउटपुट ऑफ फर्म वन विल आल्सो चेंज ओके एंड वी आल्सो से दैट इट इज द बेस्ट रेस्पॉन्स फॉर फर्म वन in terms of the output level decided by firm 2 this is the meaning of the reaction function and you can see by symmetry uh, if you solve this you will get q2 also equal to 9 minus 0.5 q1 okay you can solve it and check it out we will get the reaction function for firm 2 with this okay now how do we find out the equilibrium price and the quantity so let us solve these two firm reaction formulas plug uh, q1 in q2 so if we put the value of q1 in q2 that means q2 is equal to 9 minus 0.5 so q1 is this 9 minus 0.5 q2 so q2 is equal to 9 minus 0.5 of 9 is 4.5 minus minus is plus 0.5.5 0.25 is Q uh, two, okay. Transposing this point two five here, so Q two minus zero point two five Q two is equal to nine minus point five is four point five comes out to be four point five. So uh, subtracting, we get zero point seven five is equal to four point five. Obviously, it is Q two. That means Q two is equal to four point five divided by zero point seven five. Now solving this. So which ke 4.5 can be written as 45 upon 10, and 7.75 can be written as 75 upon 100, which gives us 45 upon 10 into 100 divided by 75, which gives us 
q2 is equal to so we have 10 ones are 10 tens are so we we got 45 into 10 is 450 upon 75 so this will come out to be uh, 75 it will come out to be 6 obviously okay 450 divided by 75 okay so first we have 25 threes are here we have 25 ones are 25 punsa 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 so 20 we get here 20 then um, obviously we will get so 450 upon 75 it should come out to be 6 i have checked it okay you will check it should come out to be 6 here okay that means output produced by firm uh, second is equal to 6 now what is the output produced by firm first so just plug this value here so q1 is equal to we have 9 minus and 0 0.5 of q2 q2 is which we got here 6 so which comes out to be 9 minus 0.5 of 6 is 3 which is again 6 that means quantity produced by each firm is equal to 6 okay and what is the price so price will be equal to simply 50 seconds minus twice this is the total quantity produced and q we know is equal to q1 plus q2 so we have seconds plus seconds which comes out to be 50 seconds minus 2 into uh, 12 so this is 50 seconds uh, minus 24 it comes out to be shan is the shan is over to the person is the three so price will be equal to 32 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video so equilibrium price in the market will be 32 and each firm will produce a quantity of six and total quantity producer if we want to find the total quantity producer that is q1 plus q2 which comes out to be six plus six is equal to well okay i hope i make myself clear thank you for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe this channel like comment and share also thank you